players go on loan all the time, of course, but have you ever wondered from a club's media perspective how it all comes together? Well, you're about to find out. I'm at home at the moment and I've just added an email from Ian Williams, our Chief Operating Officer, letting me know that Ben Clark has signed for Carnarvon Town. So the first question that I asked Ian was how long is the loan deal for? Because that's one of the important things you put in the press release that you get out there. And then once I'd communicated with Ian, I contacted Carnarvon, spoken to both the secretary and the press officer there so that we can coordinate a release time. That's important because when something happens between clubs, you want to make sure that you both put the information out at the same time. Not only is it courteous, but also it's protocol and etiquette as well. And then I'm looking for a quote from Ben and also a quote from our manager, Scott Rusco. So I've sent both of them quotes, both of them texts, so that I can get quotes from them. And then you start to put a web piece together, an article. So I've started doing that right now. And I'm actually at this moment in time, or I will be when I finish talking, looking for an image from our library of photographs of Ben in action. I've just had the first reply to my text from Scott Rusco, and he sent me a few lines to add to the piece, talking about Ben going to Carnarvon to get plenty of game time, uh, help his fitness and development. Of course, Benny's coming back from injury as well. He's going into a, a good squad, very good squad. Scott says with a young, hungry manager to learn from. And I'll tell you what, when I've got this up, while I'm waiting for Ben's text, my wife is going in the kitchen to make me some food. Almost ready to go. I've had the quote back from Ben via a text message. That's now on the website piece. I've checked through it two or three times, read it out loud. This is important if you work in football media. Don't rush, don't be sloppy, pay attention to detail. What you have to do is make sure you've written well, that you've been creative in your writing, check your grammar, your punctuation, even things like the repetition of words in sentences or keywords which are too close together. Change one of those words so that it looks more fluent and fluid when people read it. It's about being professional. And when you publish something, it's not just about you as the author, but more importantly, it's about the club, in my case, that you represent. I'm just waiting now to hear back from Carnarvon Town for a final time so that we can coordinate the actual release of the article, the press details, if you like. And talking of press, I have been in touch with Jordan Jones from a club pal droid. They do a great job promoting the domestic game in Wales. And so I've given him the heads up that we're about to release something regarding Ben Clark joining Carnarvon. That's important if you work for a club to keep good relationships with journalists, whether they're local, national, or even international as we do deal that far afield at the New Saints, especially during European games. But for now, it's Ben Clark about to join Carnarvon Town on loan, and I'll be hitting that submitting, submission button in due course. The final piece of the jigsaw is now in place, and I'm just about to hit the publish button so the article will appear on the TNS website. Then I will share it on Facebook a couple of times. One will be a scheduled post and also on our Twitter account as well. There'll be an immediate publication and then several posts scheduled over the next couple of days or so. Ben, all the very best in North Wales. You're joining a great club and I'm sure that you will make a positive difference with Carnarvon Town.